that is the 30 day challenge results let's see if I can stand this up without cocking up we'll see maybe not maybe <sighs> right so the 30 day challenge how did it go well I've noticed recently over the last three days I've been pretty heavily uh, binge eating um, anxiety has been quite manifest every day for maybe like a week or two um, I can't tell if that's good I can see my reflection in the window so yeah how's it been it's been difficult the last few days I've been trying to figure out where it's coming from. Um, I did some pr relatively decent, relatively decently heavy journaling um, early today, talking about like family, um, the lack of empathy I feel that's in my family, uh, and how I, I guess I feel that I'm um, supposed to be like steadfast. That's how it feels like when I try to make myself vulnerable. Um, kind of, I'm met with very usually quite super, like artificial, superficial uh, answers, uh, advice, which just communicates that you know they can't be asked to you know, deal with me, um, especially my dad. Uh, or, or I get like mocking answers because he'll say like he's not very good at talking to people or something like that. Um, that's quite hard. Um, and then yeah, I guess what makes me even more anxious is that when I read like philosophy, um, a lot of the time I interpret it as this is a quite a possible, easy way of living, uh, an easy way of, yeah living you know like i'm reading at the moment where you just like you know it's called ride the tiger uh, it doesn't say it explicitly it's quite abstract but it talks about um you know acting without consideration for pleasure or pain or good or bad uh just acting because for its own sake and doing always what's right and you know what's right in your mind and it's like i feel that pressure i had on me to act like that and i'm like fuck um, that adds to it, I think. But what I realised, maybe just today, really, just earlier, I think it's I think it's caffeine that adds to my anxiety. Um, I think I'm actually pretty damn sensitive to caffeine. I cut it out for the first 19 days, um, and then I noticed that uh, it w I wasn't writing often. Um, I don't know if I missed any days. I think I might have done. I think I did miss some days uh, altogether writing. But every time since I've had caffeine, I've had coffee. Uh, I have a part of my like my morning ritual now is I'll go for a coffee. I'll have my water. Um, I drink about just under a litre of water. That's what I have for breakfast because I fast. Um, and I have a coffee and I just go upstairs and I write and sip my coffee as I write. It gets me into like, you know, this is work time. But I think it affects my mind and heart, um, well, my mind really, throughout the rest of the day. Maybe because I was off caffeine all summer uh, for nearly, f well, yeah, for three months, over three months. And I came back and I wasn't having caffeine, and then now I just am. It's been fucking me up a bit. Um, like today it was ridiculous I just I went back to my my mum's and um, there was just chocolate and biscuits and crisps and I just ate like I think it was just over 18 or no no like 1700 calories just of like chocolate just biscuits and shit um, so yeah that's 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 that sucks anything else journaling uh, so the things I did do every day were I journaled every day I took a cold shower every day 
and I counted all calories every day. Things I did most poorly were waking at 5 a.m., uh, meditating for an hour, uh, abstaining from social media, and learning Latin. And that tells me where my values are, uh, I think. Meditating for an hour, I did it for a couple of times. I did, how many times did I do it? Three times. Day one, two, and five. Days one, two, and five. And I just found like it was just like an unnecessary amount of time, it felt like. I didn't feel it was adding anything going from 20 minutes to an hour. Um, some days I've only been doing about five minutes and that's not helped. I think, that's has, I think that has detracted from my everyday experience. Abstaining from social media because I was including YouTube in social media um, because I think it's important that I cut that out because I, I can spend hours on YouTube full of my addictions. Writing a thousand words for a cent, I did that five times. Uh, it just seemed too tiresome to write that much. I was like forcing myself to do it, and my creative energy just dwindled by like I don't know seven hundred words or so. Um, so I just stopped. Um, so going forth, I could you know go ahead and just say seven hundred words for a cent, meditate for twenty minutes each day, and I, I probably should do that. That would help. I haven't, I haven't been to the gym for the last two days. Well, I think today would be three days, maybe. I did have a period where I went 15 or six, 15 times in 15 days or 16 times in 16 days. One day I went twice in one day. Um, I had my weight going down quite well. I went down to 169.2. Uh, that was three days ago before my binge. And then yesterday, last night... I was 179.2, which is 10 pounds heavier. Uh, probably a lot of water weight, and I went back to eating cereal, which is the first time I've eaten cereal in three weeks or so, the day before yesterday and last night. Uh, maybe more, yeah, about three weeks, I'd say, since I last ate spinach on cereal. Um, yeah, I'm selling a lot. I've got like 22 listings scheduled for eBay this Sunday. I'm also going to sell my bike or two bikes. I'm going to sell as much as I can before I go to Australia. Um, yeah, I need to redirect my focus. I seem to focus a lot on, I don't know, it's like I'm surrounded by my family and uh, yeah, the negativity does affect me and just like the, the, the idle chatter and the, the stress it does affect me and probably just the fact that I'm living with family and I do want to just get out get my own or have my own autonomy um, I feel I guess trapped um, so yeah you know I'd uh, some days some days I really am just like fuck it like last night I was watching a film in the living room I thought okay I was hungry so instead of just thinking like, oh, my goals for my fitness goals or my uh, physique goals, I just thought, fuck it. I had a bowl of protein porridge and four bowls of cereal, some toast, some like rivita with cheese and a chutney. Because I just felt, I thought, fuck it, I don't care. I'd have ended up masturbating and watching porn if I even had a desire to. I just genuinely didn't want to. Um, but sometimes I get into a, dis a destructive mindset where I'm just like, let's feel as bad as possible, you know. And that's me. That is pretty much always just with food, really. Um, yeah, it's it, it's it's kind of it's kind of tough because I guess I'm in a, a somewhat disagreeable environment. Um, but I've got to make the most of it. Uh, I think I do have to stop caffeine though. Um, Going to bed early would help. Definitely refraining from porn and masturbation. And also stopping simple sugar. But yeah, it's... I need to just affect my environment as much as I can uh, to help me. As far as I maybe go back to being vegan. I give myself, allocate myself one space in the fridge and I can only eat from that space maybe that you know <sighs> get rid of as much stuff I don't want as possible but yeah I am just like 
my anxiety is over the last week has uh, risen quite a bit over the week and a half maybe it's just since caffeine has been reintroduced <laughs> yeah because I can journal I can, I can meditate but I still I don't feel anxious feel a sense of like I guess meaninglessness um, maybe because I don't believe in my book that I'm writing um, maybe that doesn't that's why it doesn't give me a great sense of purpose or fulfillment um, maybe sometimes I, I do feel not guilty but somehow at fault for not finding meaning in the process itself in the process of the gym of exercise and sometimes you know exercise does help clear my mind but um, sometimes it's like a you know I might be focused on the goal and then I might feel bad for not enjoying the process uh, as much as I would like to be and not doing it for the sake of itself so yeah it's uh I guess it's it's a little bit tough um, and I just really got to start sussing things out start affecting my environment um, as positively as, as I can to help myself really and start deriving some fulfillment and meaning from my everyday pursuits because it's in the everyday uh, that we strive toward our potential and our selfhood, whatever you want to call it, you know, towards our goals. Um, that's, it's only in the everyday that meaning can be found, you know, really, and what we believe in and shit. But yeah, in the everyday is where we take action. Um, how long have I been going? Uh, long enough.